Hello everyone, my name is Jermaine Sawyer, and this is a legal podcast review for my advanced entertainment law course. The podcast I am discussing is from the Music Law Podcast with Mark Quayle. Quell is a professional in the law industry dealing with music business matters and law. According to LinkedIn, he focuses on contracts for every aspect of the music business, software licensing contracts, business strategy development, intellectual property license and protection. This podcast discusses music publishing and how to make money from it. Quell stated that the music publishing is the business of causing musical compositions to earn money and it started with the printing of sheet music over 100 years ago when it was a dominant way of publishing music. Two ways to make royalties for music are through music publishing royalties and recording royalties. Recording royalties go to those who perform and writers get the publishing royalties. The example that Quell gave was Bob Dylan song all along the watchtower when he wrote and performed the song he received both royalties however when Jimi Hendrix came along and performed the song Dylan only received publishing royalties and Hendrix received the recording royalties Quell discusses six ways to make money publishing the first way is through authorization of mechanical license for musical works created and it can account for around 30 percent of a publisher's total annual earnings the second way the podcast discussed is through authoriz- authorization public performances of a musical work, and this can account for 45% of publishers' annual earnings. The third way that the podcast discussed is the authorization of an inclusion of musical work into TV and film production. This requires a synchronization license and accounts for another 10% of earnings. According to Quell, Another way to make money through authorization, the musical work can be sold in print form. This can account for 10% of the earning. The fifth way to make money is through allowing work to be sold or distributed by using new technologies like digital downloads and software products. The last way that the podcast discusses is a concept only available in Canada and that is a line for a blank media levy. The podcast as a whole was a refresher on the principle of making money through publishing. In my music production business, this will be the big percentage of how my company makes money. The first concept that I will apply is the lesson taken from Dylan Hendrix scenario. When times are available, I can increase the profit from a musical work by both writing and performing a song. This way I can receive both publishing and recording royalties. The second concept that I can apply to my business plan is increasing revenue through combining the authorization of both mechanical license and public performance license. This can account for up to 75% of my business annual income according to the podcast. The last concept taken away is the thought of authorizing some of the musical work created to be sold on print. These are all concepts that will and can be applied to my music, uh, my business plan to help increase success of the company and its revenue stream. This is my reference page, and I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.